So we have this Panasonic heat pump. Uh, it used to help us heat the house and uh, cool it in the summer. But this autumn it started acting funny. You can see it's blinking like that. And the uh, uh, outer part, this is a split system. So there's a outer part. Uh, it doesn't make any sound. So it's like completely dead. And um, I think it's time to check it out. And first thing to do is to see what fold code there is and what you do is you hold this check button here till you see this there and then you just you can just press like this and hold it again and so it's not zero zero and if this one sounds then it's there's no fold code i know that it will yeah, you see. So the full code is 99F or F99. Uh, see, it doesn't make any sound here. Okay. So what I did then was to download the manual and uh, uh, what I could see was a common cause of fault on these ones were the compressor. Uh, so I have to check out that next. So I cut the power to the heat pump and uh, waited more than 10 minutes as it says in the manual. And now I am going to check the windings of the compressor because the compressor is a, that's a common fault on these. Uh, with the fault code I got I could find a, a, a value uh, on these um, windings. So now I'm just going to measure the resistance between these three and this should be uh, what it says it says <coughs> measure them blah, 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 blah. Uh, kilo ohms to mega ohms so uh, that's the normal so if we have no resistance or if we have um, like no contact at all that's that's a problem so I'm measuring between these two and as you can see I have one ohm and that literally means that there's contact in the windings inside the compressor. Uh, it should be kilo ohms or mega ohms between there. Uh, so something has happened in this compressor and um, you know you usually what you do is you change the whole heat pump for that.